drag up. We've all heard it. We've done it. You and I have. Have done it. But what is it exactly to you, Gerald? Dragging up. Dragging up is uh, like resigning in a white collar world, only it's a little more dramatic sometimes. <laughs> uh, the welding world is different than the white collar world. And uh, you literally can quit a job when it's a boom time. Here, I did it in New Orleans, a place called Engineers Row, where there's one welding shop after another. And unlike the white collar world, they don't care why you quit. All they care is if you pass that test and you can weld for them. So there'll be some problem on a job. Usually uh, supervision is a good cause of it. Maybe you don't get along with somebody and you try to fix it. And, uh, or you feel like you're being disrespected or slighted. I mean, that's boy babies. That's where most wars start. You feel like you're being disrespected. And that's really at the heart of a lot of problems. Yeah, so you want to treat your hands good if you got good hands. But yeah, you'll just finally have enough. And it'll be like, go get my money. I'm leaving here. And uh, so, yeah. What do you think about it? Uh, dragging up, the same exact thing, um, except uh, I try to tell a lot of young welders because it's different out there for welders. I tell them that really this is not the industry you put your two weeks in, and that's my nice way of saying it. That's You drag up. You quit right then and there. It could be a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It doesn't matter, a Saturday. Um, you, that's uh, dragging up because of disrespect. Communication is always the yes. worst thing yes. on every job I've seen. And it's usually the cause of that. But regardless of why you drag up, it's usually a, kind of an emotional thing, but you usually think about it for a couple of days, and then um, you take your helper and you drag up, or you even take a crew. I've done that before. Yes. Um, and it's... Uh, I've been there, done that too. It's, it's the best feeling in the world, even though it's probably not the most ethical thing in the world, but it feels good. Well, let me say this, and this is what I believe, okay? If you're having a lot of people leaving your job and you're constantly having to hire people, it's just one welder or even two and they were buddies, then that's on them perhaps. But when you got an employee problem, buddy, that's on supervision and that's on the guy that runs that company. And you heard me say that. Did you say that, Joe? I believe <laughs> I just did. It's Gerald W. Brister. Danny Kiderling. And that's the way it is. Dragging up. Dragging up.